Hey, hello and welcome to this little video about me and why you should be interested in engineering and science. So I'll talk a little about me first. I'm an aerospace engineering student at UWE, which is the University of the West of England. And I've studied there for two years now and I'm on my third year in which I'm an intern at Airbus. Airbus is a company which is one of the leading pioneers in the aerospace industry. So they work on designing and producing commercial aircraft, which are the planes you get to fly on when you go on holiday, and also military and space as well, which is some really cool stuff they're working on at the moment. And my job in particular is a modeling and simulation scientist. So that involves working with computers to draw and create aircraft components. So for example, a wing, and then test them using computers as well, which is the simulation side of things. So making sure they can fly and that they're strong enough to stay together in the air, <laughs> essentially. Another project that we're working on at Airbus as well, which is run by the interns themselves, so everyone's my age, and it's called the Human Powered Aircraft. So we're trying to build and create an aircraft, as the name suggests, that is powered by just a single human on a bike type thing underneath with a huge wing and hopefully trying to make it take off <laughs> but all is to be revealed and hopefully it will work but um, that's just another really cool project that we're working on as well so one of the things that interests me most and excites me most about the aerospace industry is space flight itself and how amazing it is to watch these launches live most recently there was a nasa and spacex launch where they teamed up to send two NASA astronauts into space using a SpaceX rocket to reach the International Space Station. And I'll include a video because it's amazing to watch. And I remember watching similar videos when I was younger and just being so inspired by them. So something that's really exciting about studying aerospace and doing engineering in general is that you get to study modules where you get to cover science such as space flight and orbital mechanics which is all the maths and science behind sending people into space. And I'm quite lucky that in my third year I'll get to study a module in which I get to cover these. So it's quite funny that something that inspired me at such a young age is now something that I'm learning as part of my degree. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk a little bit about why I wanted to be an engineer and what kind of like led me on this path to do aerospace in particular. So since I was quite young, I think I wanted to be a pilot and I actually ended up applying to Oxford Aviation Academy, which is where they train you to be a commercial pilot. And as amazing as this would have been, I kind of decided that I wanted to contribute more to the evolution of the technology and help the industry for future generations to come and leave a little bit more of a legacy behind in a way. And also the realization that you can fly as a hobby this is something that the University of the West of England has enabled me to do. So as soon as I joined, I kind of knew that I, this was like the right path for me. It fused together my love for like maths, physics, and flying by doing aerospace engineering. Flying as a hobby is kind of something that um, the University of the West of England has enabled me to do. So one of their societies there that I instantly signed up for when I joined is the Gliding Society. So Glider, if you're not too sure, is a plane with huge wings that allow it to glide and with no engine. So I'll include a little video here to just explain it a little bit better. And this is actually my first experience in a glider, which was as amazing as it looks. So not only am I now learning how these planes work, but now I've also got the chance to fly them as well. So that's kind of what engineering opens for you really. If you're really passionate about it, then not only will you learn so many incredible things about the science behind how things work, but you'll also get the practical chance to do it yourself in a way. <laughs> okay, so I think that just about wraps up this video and I will just give a little bit of advice before I do end it. That's basically just to really try and find what you love doing and work hard at it, because it will pay off and 
it is all about the journey in the end and trying to solve the problems that you have along the way. That's what engineering and science is all about. So on that note, I think we're going to leave it there and I hope you enjoyed and best of luck for the future.